anyways. Helps if you remember to, uh, <laughs> to unmute whenever you switch back. There we are. My nose is a little bit cleared up, and I took the time and all. So hopefully, 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 I'll start feeling better. And now the thirst triggers. That makes sense. Okay. Water flask. Two, oh, nope. Put our shirt back on. Two water flasks, because we're probably going to be hungry, hungry. And this is a fine establishment. Surely they have some kind of food downstairs, right? Preferably cooked food. Hello, good sir. Um, I'm not interested in any of that stuff, honestly. I just want to barter. Magic. Cooked food. You do. You have greens. You have some cooked meat. How much is the meat? Is it expensive? It's nine. Um, you know what? I'm feeling eggs, greens, and uh, roots. A nice, a nice salad with some eggs. I think will be good for us. And in return, I can sell you fresh fiber. Uh, I mean, I can cook the meat for myself, so I might as well keep that. I don't know what rue brush is, but we'll sell that. Stone flower petals, sure. Chokeweed doesn't sound good. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think chokeweed's something we want to be eating. I can finally offload this. Ooh. Oh, you give me like next to nothing for that emerald. You must not like me very much. That's fine. I just won't sell you the emerald. And that's going to be it. Okay. Well, we have a 51 with you. Hmm. Uh... Oh, you only sell bottles of water. Interesting. Okay, well, whatever. That's fine. I just won't buy from you. Eggs. And a salad. What's your story? For breakfast. Okay, so we're going to Caldera. North of Caldera Mines, I'm pretty sure is what they said. Caldera Mines. We haven't actually found yet. Hey, Newton, thank you so much for the five bits, love. Uh, okay, we found it before... But it must have been, like, before the game broke and we restarted or whatever. Because I don't see it now, which is fine. I am a little worried. I'm not going to lie, because it's supposedly four dudes. I'm going to save before we leave town, before we leave safe space. Um, just for convenience sake. Bear Mining Company this way. So mine's north of... I'm going to save the ring charges. Suppose. I'm not going to fight you guys right now, even though I could probably pretty easily take you out. Okay, this should be the road to the mines. Going off a of memory here. Cave north of here. It's just like on the north side of all of this then? Hello. You have... You do not. I was hoping that maybe he would have light armor. This is north-ish of the Caldera Mines. Ashinamu? Is that... Is that where we were going? Did we win? I missed it. We won! Let's go, dude! Hell yeah. Uh, their names are... Yeah. Uh, they're hiding in a cave in the hills north of Caldera Mine. They probably have a lookout posted outside the mine. The names are Anu Aralum Sathasa, Fothnia, and Alvaleg. Alvaleg, you say? Really? So you're the lookout, huh? Okay. Charlotte said she wants to come up there and bite your fingers for a while now. Uh, how about no? <laughs> now you're going to get it. 
What is this magic? What kind of magic is he using? Oh, you bastard. Dude, just hit him, please! Oh, why? Why? Dude, there's no way we're gonna be able to kill the ones inside there. <laughs> With how much trouble this one gave us? Holy shit, dude. Do you have anything good? It's got some value, at least. I will take it. Thank you. Oh, we're crouched, too. <laughs> I don't know when I crouched. Okay. Uh, so we definitely need to heal. We should probably use a regular restore health. Restore fatigue. Restore fatigue. Restore health. I don't know how much that's going to give us. Is it going to get us back to full? It is. Very nice, dude. Okay. Here we go, man. <laughs> like, oh, God. This is going to go poorly. My only real hope is that we can take them, like, one by one. And if we get too close to death, just run away. Okay. Okay. They saw me, like, instantly. And there's multiple of them coming. All three of them, actually. And he's healing. Why are they healing? Alright. Uh... <laughs> Bro. Oh, man. These injury things are killing us too dude drain strength just by six points and that six points of drain strength was enough to just like destroy our ability to carry anything yeah, these things have like no weight I'm just trying to think of stuff that we could just start leaving behind okay well the common shirt has next to no value you can drop that Common pants, same thing. Okay, we've been using the axe, so we probably don't need the leather shield. It only weighs four and a half, though. The decent value. They're like... Fortify... Strength? No. Rude? <laughs> You're rude. We haven't been using the firewood. And it's probably heavy. Each one weighs one. Still need to get rid of three more pounds. How do lockpicks weigh more than, like, arrows? Um, rough. Oh wait, we're we're good. Two thirty-eight. Okay, I misread what our uh, shit was at. So, nah, that's like cheating, man. I was gonna say technically, I guess we could just heal real quick and then go right back in there. <laughs> like, technically, I don't think that would be against the rules, but. It might as well be, too. It's it's definitely cheese. Oh, God, there's a rat. Nope. Run away from the rat. Bro, like, the rat could legitimately kill us. As dumb as that is. The rat's still following us. My god, dude. <laughs> we're running from a rat right now. That, that's where we're at. This is this is good. It's going well, honestly. Please tell me you can't, like, pathfind. You can pathfind just fine. That's annoying. 
you still chasing me? This is a persistent rat. <laughs> this rat's got a bloodlust, dude. We get back into town. Will, like, the town guard take care of it? Or is it just going to chase us forever? Right, it's still... It's still chasing us, though. Hey, Mr. Guard, do you want to... There we go. <laughs> the guards can't even kill the rats. Watch this epic battle go down. Okay. Dispose of corpse. Very nice. You walk really funny, dude. Okay. Um. Well. Pawnbroker. Pawnbrokers probably sell and buy a bit of everything, right? I would like to sell... How much will you give me for the emeralds? Like, next to nothing. I'm just going to say screw it and get rid of it at this point, man. Because, like, nobody gives us good money for this shit. Do I just... No, I'm going to put that shit in my house. The guides and whatnot. Same with these, like, named armors that I don't know what to do with. Sell that. Sell the extravagant shoes. Uh, uh, long bow versus short bow. One to ten. One to twenty. Long bow weighs a lot more too, so screw it. Get rid of it. We probably don't need this many arrows. We'll sell uh fifty four of them. I think that's about everything. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Do you have anything I want? Probably not, but it's always worth taking a look, right? We could get rid of the tent and then just use a covered bedroll. I think there's a way to, like, upgrade the tent so it has more functionality. But a covered bedroll has a weight of 12. And the tent alone has 15. So instead, I'm going to sell that in the bedroll and then just buy the covered bedroll. That'll give us a little bit more overall. What is a propylon, propylon index? Some despair, shadow, chameleon. That's cool. I wonder what sanctuary does. Is that just like vent people from trying to kill us or something? I don't know. Uh, 200, though. Sounds good. Goodbye. You want? Just wanted to offload some yes. goods. Thank you. Save in case of crash. Da, da, da. Okay. Return. Is this? Yes. I would like a bed again. Please and thank you. Rue, what's up, my guy? Hello, hello. Who's the glasses? You know, that makes it a lot harder to read all this little text. <laughs> but welcome, my guy. Happy to see you. Um, okay. That's fine. Thankfully, we were just going to bed. No, we made that mistake last time. Not out there. Upstairs. And was it upstairs again? Yeah, right here, right? Bed? Is that red? Around the chest? I think that's red. So it must be stealing. 12 p.m. Holy shit, dude. We've only been out for like a couple hours and we almost died. Uh, sleep for 18 hours. What time is it? Oh, it disappeared. Whatever. It's got to be close to morning. 7 a.m. Okay, that's a fine time to leave. Do we try again? Sorry, I had the opportunity and I took it unless you want to give back sing mode. Not particularly. <laughs> someday. Someday it'll go back on. I'm not going to tell anyone either. I'm just going to turn it on 
and uh, keep it a secret. See how long we can go without anyone realizing. Water? Is that going to be enough? I don't know how many drinks we need. We were asleep for a long time. Oh, it's empty now. Some of which. That's the water catcher. Water jug. And we'll have a uh, egg and root salad. Damn it with the rain, dude. Okay, I don't think it really matters, though. We're going to try again. But with all three of them, like, bunched up right on the door, I don't know how it's going to go. Try again, try again, try again. I don't know what it is, but try again. So, we got a quest from the Fighters Guild to kill some bandits um, in this mine up here. And I killed the lookout just fine. Like, that went smoothly. But, there's a few of them in a cave, right? And, uh... Yeah, I didn't die, but I ran away. <laughs> I ran away real quick. And I did consider cheesing it. And just, like, leaving, healing, and then coming back and repeat, right? Because that's technically within the, the self-imposed rules that we got going on. But it, I felt like it wasn't in the spirit of things. So we didn't end up doing that. But, um... I don't know, dude. I am, I am tempted, though. I'm not gonna lie. weird that was empty but it let me let me trigger it oh hey our firewood and stuff we'll just leave it there for now let's wait a second while we get some of our fatigue back look i know you're streaming the barbarian and weenie but don't be a weenie i'm following the self-imposed rules no worries i want to see I was going to see if I could change a setting, but not while I'm streaming, so that's fine. It's not a big deal. Chili. Weakness to frost. Hopefully none of these bandits are using frost. So I wonder if all of them can heal or if it's just the one. Okay. You know what? Actually get the magic out. Damn, dude, see what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> we didn't even get a single attack off, man. I just, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Other than just run around killing little animals. I guess that's what we're doing now. I guess we just have to grind, <laughs> like for a while. What's our, uh... Our level's three, but whatever. Uh, what's our... Axe at? 37 of 100. Because that's what we really need to get up, is our light armor and axe skills. So 37 and 7. I'm going to go ahead and take a healing potion, because I really don't want to just go right back into sleep mode again. And then we're going to find just some small creatures and start murdering them, I guess. Just get good. Nate, come do it. <laughs> That's Go ahead, man. Come show us how it's done. Oh, those cheap health potions really don't do shit, do they? Let's not buy those anymore. <laughs> Okay, so we got one hit in. And that one hit... What were we at? 37? So it gave us like 5-ish XP. That's not too bad. Yeah, I think that's legit our gold now. You have a nice forehead? Oh, sorry. My camera's 
Like, I have to lean real close <laughs> to the camera. Normally, I'm sitting, like, back here. But I'm having to lean in, like, real close because I can't see shit. <laughs> such knowledge with Morrowind. I don't think it's a knowledge issue, right? I think it's just you're weak as shit in the beginning of this game. I think. Right? Like, I'm sure technically if we went and got enough gear, we could overcome the problem of just being weak as shit, but... Oh, nice. Okay, we got hit that time, too, so... Does anybody remember what our light armor was at before? I said it a moment ago, but I don't remember what it was. Doesn't help your playing on Mega Hard? I mean, not really though, right? Like, because we turned down the actual difficulty. So it's only on 7 right now. Which, I mean, yeah, is more hard than not like than default but it's not that big of a difference um and then we don't do healing in the middle of combat which definitely doesn't make things easier but i wouldn't think it would make it that much harder the damage mod that we have the bodily injuries that definitely fucks us like losing our strength and shit constantly that definitely screws us over Sorry, I <laughs> somebody redeemed lose the glasses, so I can't see shit right now, so I had to lean in close. Find Rado. Thank you for the for joining, man. Has the Dark Brotherhood attacked you? Yeah, I found out about that very early on, and then uh, installed a mod to to uh, put that off until we get to like a certain point of the game, because like. <laughs> Because that was just uh, undoable. You're in Oblivion. Also, a few trips, small missions, and some robberies. Then you can one-hit most things while being maybe level 3. I'm also not stealing. Unless it's, like, quest-specific or whatever. The time is up. Yeah, that's why I put the glasses back on. I had to check. But I don't have that good of a sense of a time to know exactly when 5 minutes is up. But anyways, I think like uh, I think our best bet, honestly, like I was saying, is just to explore a little bit and murder like all of the small creatures that we come across while we're exploring, so we can get more experience. Bruh, is the screen nothing but like large chunky pixels for anyone else? I need to change a setting. I'm using something on OBS which. Uh, is supposed to help manage congestion by like lowering the bitrate dynamically. Um, but it appears to be just screwing up the the look of the stream more than anything. You thought it was just you? No. No, it's definitely that setting that I have on. I'm gonna throw down a quick save real quick. Quick save real quick, yeah. And then I'm just gonna end the stream, change that setting, and then be right back. So I'll only be gone for like a moment, guys. So <laughs> don't go anywhere if you still want to watch. It was quest related. I had to get fencing up with these guilds. Fancy. Uh, it's open. Open Morrowind. Yeah, open Morrowind with some mods. Not like heavily modded, but some mods. Uh, I believe I have a mod list set up. I don't know if it will work with caps. Maybe it's mods. There it is. If you want to see the mod list. Uh, like I said, nothing nothing too, too crazy. Um, it's also my first playthrough of Morrowind. And then we have just some small self-imposed rules limiting like how much... Uh, I can only heal whenever, like, it's safe or magic um, and in combat. Uh, we have to, like, eat and drink, of course. And then we can only save in towns, basically, or whenever we sleep. Um, but anyways, yeah, like I said, I'm going to stop the stream real quick, change that setting so that the stream doesn't look like ass when I'm running around, and then literally going to start right back up. So won't be gone for more than 30 seconds, probably.
and we should be back <laughs> hopefully yeah okay yeah looks looks like we're back good 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 um hey oh hello so hopefully now the stream will just look a little bit better when we're like moving around and whatnot because i had a setting set in obs that stopped it from or that that dynamically changed the bitrate depending on network congestion and stuff like that because we've had problems with like network packages dropping on Twitch's end before. I thought maybe it would help. Uh, but I'd say it was more annoying than anything. Um, it constantly dropping down to like 2,000 bits a second and stuff like that, or kilobits. But you forgot what the work ratios are. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, so I let chat pick what our uh, race was, and they picked orc, which was fine. Um, but then we did... The questionnaire for our class and we got rogue so it's kind of trash honestly i think if i remember correctly it was axe um maybe long blade and medium armor and block something along those lines that we got from orc i can't remember exactly but it's it's not a great starting to be completely honest uh, da -da -da -da. I would like to actually buy some more food from you for the road. We'll just go ahead and buy all of it because we're going to be traveling for a little while, I imagine. All of the cooked food, that is. It's more expensive than I thought it'd be, but that's fine. And I think we had some, like, you know, common clothes that you don't buy. I mean, that makes sense, I guess. You run a tavern, after all. Why would you buy that stuff? Do a save, since we're in a safe spot in town. And let's just start exploring Morrowind, shall we? Um, we haven't been up the north coast at all here. Or the, the west coast. So maybe we just keep heading north. Exploring the coast more. See if there's any small creatures we can deal with along the way. Try to get our skills up a little bit. Specifically, Axe and, uh... Holy shit, that's a paragraph and a half, Nate. Uh, <laughs> you join Thieves' Guild and do the quest to get into Mage's Guild. Steal some jewelry and a few other things. Fence to get next missions. Grand Soul Gem. Picking the case is considered illegal, but taking the gem is fine. Go enchant a sword, dagger, or bow with lightning, fire, and ice. If it's bow, do radius also. So for, like, an AoE sort of thing? Is that what you're saying? So I'm sure there's probably ways to break the game like that in here, too, but, you know, <laughs> not necessarily trying to. If I accidentally stumble across something myself, then by all means, I'm not going to turn it down. But it's all part of the learning experience, right? Looking for small creatures to kill. You can come to us so that we can regain a little bit of stamina. Nice. One one hit. Where are you? Oh. Ah, uh, we'll kill it. Whatever. It's experience. That's all that matters right now. Even if you are nice. Oh, you're diseased. What did the disease... The that mean like we can't steal your meat are you stronger than the normal ones i don't know what the disease does see a rat hello me's a rat oh you bastard i mean at least we can deal with these guys like the small creatures pretty easily now outside of uh, just having trouble hitting them <laughs> sometimes not like when we were on difficulty 100 and just fighting a single rat was damn near a death sentence. Follows your rules for the most part. This was something you stumbled across. You were like 12 <laughs> and you really liked the Thieves Guild. Yeah, no, I'm not saying any of it's against the rules. Just saying that I'm not like trying to look up strategies on how to break the game or anything like that. If we, like I said, if I happen across a really powerful weapon or something like that, or a way to to make something really powerful and make the game easier for us, by all means, 
but since it is my first playthrough, I'm not trying to, you know, <laughs> not trying to look up how how to break Morrowind instantly. Disease is stronger and has a chance of inflicting disease upon you. That makes a ton of sense, actually. Uh, so, okay, if we're not hungry or anything, that's all I was really worried about. I uh, see Nick Sound over there. Excuse me for a moment. Uh, still getting over whatever the hell. I'm assuming a cold. Take that. And I think there was a scrib over here or something, right? Scrib or a rat? Scrib. Hello, friend. Would you like to die? Oh, you bastard. <laughs> I thought he was still alive, man. I will take that jelly. And keep heading north. Well, actually, the goal was to explore the coast. Might as well find the coast, or at least, like, the road that follows it. This is more or less the right road. I've only looked up stuff after you'd played multiple times. Still have come across anything better that involves still playing the game but not having difficulty with combat. My other question to you on that is what difficulty would you have been on though, you know? Because like, it's a lot easier to break games whenever you're on either an easy difficulty or even medium or something like that. I mean, we're essentially on default. We're only on difficulty 7 right now, but yeah. I don't think I trust this guy. I'm gonna take a potion. It's only a cheap one, but do a little something something for us. We could just ignore you. I'm listening. Uh, I hope I don't regret this. Oh no, you're fine. Okay, what's your background? You're a healer, that's cool. Are you interested in the healer's trade more one? Maybe you should talk with Yigfa at Fort Pelagion in the village. She's very nice, experienced, and very patient with questions. Ooh. The healer has sworn solemn oaths in the College of Restoration to heal the afflicted and cure the disease, but I've also learned that preventing harm to others often requires more active opposition to monsters and malefactors, so I've studied both the unarmed and unarmored martial arts of the Khajiit and the light-armored and blunt weapon styles of the Imperial West both for self-defense and for disabling or killing dangerous opponents. It's too bad you can't, like, train me in any of that. Getting some uh, alchemy experience would be excellent. I did buy five levels of alchemy, but last time I tried to mix a potion, it still ended poorly for me, so... Ooh. Something over there. Let's go check it out. See stone towers of some sort. Played too many times to recall. I know that feel, dude. 100%. I know that feel. I'm just waiting for, like, something to pop out and murder us. It's only 12 p.m. No point in resting yet. We're not, like, hungry or anything either, right? Nope. Still well, well fed, actually. Is the rain finally clearing up? That would be great, man. So we can start to dry out. Not be so damn cold. You can die from getting too cold. We uh we found that out the hard way at one point. Is this gonna take me where I want to go? Where were those stone towers at. They weren't that far away. Damn you, rat. Hey, 43. Let's go. That should increase our likelihood of hitting stuff at least a little bit. 
can get a better view from here. Just a rat, dude. <laughs> Whenever that combat music started up, I got scared. I ain't gonna lie. I will take it. All meat is good meat. Just randomly falling down. That's fun. And the rain's back. Good, 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 good. Got an arm injury, huh? And we're thirsty all of a sudden. Okay. Oh, that's still empty. That's a water flask. Uh, water jug. I wish the water jug and the water catcher graphics were swapped, man. Come on, hit him before he gets back up. Okay. Medusa's gaze him again before we die. Holy shit, dude. Come on, just hit him. Why did you suck so much? Oh my god, we're gonna die. I can't get up. <laughs> I can't get up. I'm over encumbered. Oh god, dude. No! <laughs> Bro! Oh. <laughs> Keep moving. <laughs> Why, dude? Why? <laughs> yes. Oh, God. Why is it just so hard to hit things? I mean, I think we were out of uh, stamina. So that definitely wasn't helping anything. But, like, my God, dude. <laughs> it does not need to be that hard to hit stuff. Sound like Randy from Christmas Story for a minute there? I don't even remember who Randy is from Christmas Story. Not a huge Christmas Story person. Like, it's, it's fine, but it's definitely not my favorite thing. What did you actually die from? I don't even remember swinging when you fell over dead. Whatever. Definitely drink a potion. Uh, I'll catch it. And cheap restore health. Fight the same things again here. Walk up to him. Uh, before we get into combat, can drink yet another potion. Trying to get. Well, one, trying to use up the cheap ones because they suck. And uh, also just trying to get our health next to, to full. The little brother. His mom put him in too many winter clothes and he fell down. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I remember now. What you're talking about. Are you... Wait, did we... Who are you? I don't remember seeing you for before. For your hard mode, you picked Altmer with Apprentice Sign, so I take 100% more magic damage, 50% more fire damage, 25% more shock and frost damage. Magic one-shots me. Yeah, I <laughs> I did not take a, anything like that. I took the... I forget what it's called, but it's the one that gives you the tower key and uh, Beggar's Nose and whatnot. Um, I was originally playing on 100% difficulty, or difficulty 100, whatever you want to call it, but, like, just simple rats and things were, were too much for me to realistically handle, so I decided instead every level that I go up, I would raise the difficulty roughly three points. Omar Winesot. Hail and well met, stranger. As you can plainly see, I require some assistance. If you be kind enough to grant it. <coughs> need help finding the festering witch who has robbed me blind and left me for dead. Uh, you're a fighter for hire. Okay. Tell me more about this festering witch. Not that I think I can kill her, but I'm interested. A witch she had to be. I was on my way to Caldera when I met her. She was a stranger here like myself. Our conversation lightened the burden of travel. She was quite, quite friendly. And well, you know, we set up camp together. But that night she revealed the witch inside, cast a spell on me. I couldn't so much as blink, stole everything, even my worn-out clothes, but most importantly, she took my prized axe, Cloud Cleaver. 
join with me, stranger, and let's find her and extract her entrails together? Uh, I don't think I can right now. Will you still be here? Uh, my own father, Balmir, used it himself to slay the terror of Rothgar's quagmire, he did. Huh. Now, granted, the terror turned out to be a newborn Nick's hound <laughs> eating the neighbor's marshmallow. But my father, <laughs> father found him in Saloum, nevertheless, in as grand a fashion as I can ever born witness to. I mean, I want to, but I feel like you'll become a follower if I try to. And I really don't want you to be a follower. <laughs> I, I dislike followers in general, and they seem even worse in this game. I hope he stays there for me to do the quest later, once we level up a bit. And can uh, more likely handle the situation, but... It's on for 24 hours every Christmas, how could you... I mean, I know this, but I don't really pay that much attention to it. You know I'm not a huge fan of the movie. <laughs> I think that's the way we went last time. We'll go this way again. We were mostly fine. Whenever we came this way before, we just got a bad string of luck, really. Fighting that stu stupid... Whatever. Silt Strider? No. The bird thing. I can't remember its name. Are you the witch? I bet you're the witch, huh? I'm the snake. Uh, what do you know? Right funny story that one is. The true story stream, the barbarian weenie, is that I took... Uh, for... <laughs> I took the person on as a traveling companion for protection, only for the road to Caldera. Along the way, he was getting entirely too friendly for his own good, to the point where I actually had to cast a sleep spell on him just to teach him a lesson in manners. I stripped him and left him by the road, and to be sure he didn't come after me for retribution, I took that cloud cleaver he's always fawning over as well. Oh, I don't think he's ready to get it back quite yet. I can tell... I can still see the rage burning in those tiny Nord eyes of his. However, if he meets me in three days at the Mage's Guild Hall in Caldera, I will return everything I have of his, but not a minute sooner. Tell him that this is Socia's offer. Okay. I mean, if we're just going to be a go-between, I can do that. Maybe you'll break tradition and put Elf on this year. Is that really any better, though? <laughs> you can put on whatever you want. I don't really care, but... I mean, Elf might be a, a, just a smidge. Just a tiny bit better. Than a Christmas story, in my eyes. It's not much of a difference, but it, it's it's something. I should probably kill these things for the experience. Bro, come on. We're not even out of stamina. Why can I not hit you? <laughs> Bro! <laughs> like... This is despicable. This is absolutely ridiculous <laughs> why in the hell does it take that many swings to hit something now as we level up it's gonna get much easier i'm sure but like uh you don't like either really room i'm okay with elf like elf's fine i guess i'm really not a fan of christmas story like it's okay to watch once but i i couldn't like sit there and watch it a hundred times like like noodle and her family have and do. I don't really care for the cartoon Christmas movies either, to be honest with you. Like, they're fine, I guess, but I'm just not a huge fan of Christmas movies, I guess, in general. I'm <laughs> not a Scrooge. I don't hate Christmas or hate Christmas movies, but like, I'm just not a huge fan of them. They're just whatever to me. And growing up, besides presents, we didn't really celebrate Christmas. Um... Once I became, like, a, a teenager, at least. When I was a kid, still living with my parents, we did. But once I moved out of there, like, yeah. Not even the Grinch? Eh, like I said, it's fine. Pokemon Christmas? Is that a thing? <laughs> I don't remember a Pokemon Christmas movie. 
While I'll not be waiting another three days to have me bloody axe when it is in the hands of that damned witch, are you going to help me, friend, or are you believing the lies spilling out of that witch's face? I believe her. Are you going to attack me? You're going to attack me. Of course you are. Bro, for real? <laughs> Bro, he doesn't even have any weapons or anything. How is he kicking my ass? Oh my god, he's got health out the ass. Bro, I think we might just have to run away. Like, no shit. I can't get up. <laughs> like, I can't do anything. Uh, if you have zero stamina, yeah, I've noticed. <laughs> Let me get a little bit of distance from him. I'm going to take him back to the guards, I think, is my plan. And maybe the guards will deal with him. That's my hope, at least. I mean, I probably shouldn't be jumping. Not that it matters, because running uses up all my stamina anyways. Especially with all the injuries that I have on me right now. Guards, please. Who resisted it? Guards, please? <laughs> the guards do not care. I guess because he's a humanoid, not like a... Not a, not a creature? He's trying to murder me. I love how they all just watch. Like, do not care at all. Bro. <laughs> um, is his pathfinding going to, like, work? Is he going to be able to make his way over to here? He is. Oh, damn it. There's a rat now, too? His hit just instantly drained me of all my stamina. <laughs> I had some. I had a decent amount. And then it just all gone. <laughs> By the way, we're watching the Pokemon Christmas movie. Yeah, I knew I was going to die, dude. <sighs> I wonder if she heard me say Hand-to-hand -hand drained stamina, too. I see that. <laughs> okay, so now we know. Let's just not get in the middle of it at all between those two. Yeah, death to naked man. Hey, you triggered the question of the day. What one superpower would you give to everyone in the world? I started to think of this one a little bit the other day. Like, whenever I added the question of the day. And, uh... I honestly don't know. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because, like, I mean, I guess, like, uh, let's say everyone was super strong, you know, like, had super strength. I guess if everyone had it, it might not be too bad. But, like, there's definitely people that you wouldn't want having super strength. But that's the same for, like, basically everything. I guess flying. If I had to pick one myself, I guess flying wouldn't be too bad, right? Like, if everyone just had the power to fly. Perfect understanding? Is that a superpower? So, like... Just the ability to understand everyone's intentions perfectly? Or, like, their words perfectly? Or... I think you would have to... Th explain a little bit. Conjuring food so you don't have to go anywhere to eat good food. Oh, you know what? That's actually a pretty good idea. See, I was thinking of more, like, classic stuff from, like, DC and Marvel and whatnot. But that's a pretty good idea, man. Just the ability to create food. Not only so you wouldn't have to go anywhere to eat good food. Sorry. My, uh... <laughs> I'm dying a little bit. But, uh, also, like, you would instantly just fix world hunger at that point, right? Because, like, if everyone could just conjure as much food as they wanted at any time with no downside, then, like, you're good at that point. Kill all these little guys yet again. 
and we're just staying out of their business for now. We can always come back and deal with them later. <laughs> but for now, it's nothing but bad time. Just understand everything perfectly. Things, people, all of it. What would a world like that really be like, you know? Like, that could be... I could see some downsides to it. Because, like... That's very similar to, like... If everyone knew when somebody was lying to them. You know what I mean? Like, it's a very similar thing to that. It sounds good in theory. But, like, think of all the little tiny white lies, you know? Say your, your wife is having a terrible day. And, like, she's crying and just, you know, distraught. Lord knows what happened. But it doesn't matter. And then you try to comfort her. And even though, like, mascara's running down her face and maybe she's... I, I don't know. Just, like, hair's a mess and all of that. And you tell her that she looks amazing, you know? That she looks absolutely beautiful. Just to try to say something nice. Just spitballing here. Right? And then, like, she instantly knew that it was a lie. <laughs> like... You know, just little situations like that. I think... It would be neat on paper, but it might be a problem in practice. Cheesecakes for everyone? Let's go, dude. <laughs> I could use some cheesecake. I actually... I might be weird for this. I'm probably weird for this. Um, but I actually like, like, the cheap no-bake cheesecakes that you buy at, uh, like, the store and then just make it home or whatever. I actually prefer those ones to actual, like, proper cheesecake. So I know I'm probably weird for that, but it's true. Oh, so it's a lie? Wow. <laughs> Not always a lie, of course, but, you know. You can't literally be your most beautiful 24-7. <laughs> Nobody can be. <laughs> Some, but all in all, there would be different viewpoints and all that. It would just come from a place to understand it. It'd still be possible to lie and such. Yeah, and, like, I I think it would be interesting to see what a world would like that would be like, you know? Because a lot of things would change in a world like that. A lot of things would be very different. I'm just curious, like, like with the whole genie thing, you know? <laughs> like, anything you wish for from a genie is going to backfire in some way. I wonder, like, uh, how this would backfire, I guess, basically. Because I feel like it would somehow. Even if the intentions are really good. Any more small creatures? I should probably just go ahead and use another small restore health potion. Do I have... I mean, I think I have some Restore Fatigue Potions, but I don't know if it's really worth using them right now. Restore Fatigue seems like a potion that would be good to use when you know you're about to get in combat. But since I'm not allowed to use potions in combat, it would have to be literally, like, when you know you're going to get in combat. I don't remember you being here before. Maybe we didn't get this far. Are you... are you bad guy? <laughs> I'm scared to talk to you. Uh, you, you will speak with me now, or you shall feel the bite of my axe. When this enchantment wears off, this in deep raid will shed some blood. Enchantment? Aye, a foul witch has given me some enchanted disease, leaving me rooted to the spot. She called it Witch Wither, foul temptress. I have been her escort. She was a big woman, friendly, you know. Then the damned witch and sorcelled me, leaving me at this spot nearly naked to display my shame to the world. This in deep raid is not accustomed to being mocked, stranger. I shall paint the ground with her entrails. Um... So wait. <laughs> Was she actually an evil witch? The, the healer lady that we thought was good? I mean, I'll try to find you a potion that will cure your paralyzation. A uh, potion of cure common disease. Oh, that did it. Cool. 
Take this, my family's helm. Ice cap. It was worn by my father and his father and by his father before him. It will protect you from the coldest of nights. Wear it with honor. Now I must go kill that witch. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. You actually gonna go like... Oh, this is a different witch? Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. Like, Rusa, just a random another naked man. And like, both just down the road from that lady, so... I don't know. It seemed to line up. Uh, does that cap... What is it? It is... Light. Okay. Armor rating 5. What's our... So we have a higher armor rating with the one we have now. That resist frost isn't bad, though. Okay, those look like some Nyx Hounds up there. I think I can probably... I mean, I could probably take one or two of them. I don't know about all of them, though. Is there a safe spot to camp around here? So that we can get a save in? Well, besides falling from being out of stamina, this looks like as good a place as any. We're also thirsty, but we'll deal with that when we wake up. Plus, it'll get us out of the rain, which will be nice. Well, at least hopefully it will. Oh, I'm like inside this. Whatever. It's only 1 p.m. Well, like I've said before, I imagine this as like us making camp for the day. Not necessarily sleeping for like 18 hours, but making camp for 18 hours. So I find it acceptable, more or less. Sadly, it's still raining, so just continue resting. Bro, does the rain never stop here? Well, we can't really stay here forever. Oh, damn it. Take a couple drinks. Eat some food. And let's get on with our lives. Oh, save. Of course. Yes, save game. Now then, which way were the next sounds? This way. Ooh, are you coming for me? Nope, okay. Would love if I could just get like one of them over here. I do have a bow. We could try it. But like... I've never shot a bow before, and my skill for it's most likely shit. Oh, you bastard. Oh, I didn't mean to cast twice. Pull out the sword. Or the axe, rather. There we go, dude. Cliff Racer, that's what they're called. Okay, you're down. How many of you are there, actually? Are there four of you? Can I get the attention of just one? Well, two. I'll take it. Oh, we got the attention of the third one. Things are definitely easier to hit when they're paralyzed, which makes a lot of sense. So maybe we should try to get, like, some sort of spell or something that we could use more consistently than, than this ring. Because it's giving us a real nice combat advantage. How's our skills doing? 9 out of 100. Okay, 52 out of 100. Still got a long way to go. I <laughs> think there's a dagger that paralyzes on hit. That would be really nice. I don't think... No. Unless I have to, that's right. You have to equip the spell like that. Fortify skill short blade now, okay. Hmm. Technically, I guess the Tanto, the spell one is better because of the plus 10. Natively, it's worse, but I just hate having to cast the spell constantly to use this thing. 
which is why I've usually used the the axe or have been wearing the axe and wearing using the axe instead. But maybe we should go back to using this thing a bit more. I don't know, honestly. Hold on. I do actually want to try the bow. Uh, okay. I'm assuming we have to equip these somehow. Okay, there we go. Is there drop or am I just missing? Is it a random dice roll to hit with this too? Okay, well that didn't deal much damage. Yes, it is though. Okay. Good to know. It's a dice roll yet. <laughs> I was hoping maybe projectiles would be a little bit different than the uh than the than the swords and stuff, but I figured that's probably a bit of a pipe dream. Is that a town? I don't actually remember what that is. Your brother got you some handmade D6s. That's pretty cool, man. Are they like... Would they be balanced? Or are they just like carved from like a wooden block or something? I mean, either way, it's really cool. Don't get me wrong. It's just like, are they actually usable, I guess, is what I'm wondering. The only thing that's guaranteed to hit is spells, but they have a chance of failing. Yeah, I've noticed that with my my uh, Medusa's Gaze ring that I have. Or, yeah, it's a ring. Like, it always seems to hit, but a message every once in a while will pop up that say they uh, resisted it or whatever. They look to be and feel to be stone made. Very cool. I was expecting, like, resin or carved from wood or something like that. Stone, though. That's awesome, man. Whoops. What injuries do we have? Arm, <laughs> and we're chilly. Which is our agility. Small arm injury, though. That's kind of annoying. I think I want to go here. I don't remember what that is, but it's on our maps. So there must be some reason for it. Uh, if I remember correctly, you guys are friendly. What's in 25% magic resist, but you seem to get hit by every spell. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it does seem to happen a lot, doesn't it? Uh, can I even? No, I can't even use that, so there's no point in having it. Whipped. My magic sucks, so these are <laughs> I bought a few spells not knowing how the spell system worked. Um, Berserk's not too bad. The drain agility part kind of sucks, but the fortify attack and things are nice. I think you guys are friendly, right? Or neutral, at least. Seem to be. Let's keep it that way for now. Especially because if this is a town that I'm making it to, I'd much rather just go there and save than die right outside of it. Oh, can I... Is there an invisible wall? Nope. Just couldn't get up the hill. That... That looks a little towny. Maybe? There's at least a road or something over there, right? I'd actually be over here. Ooh. I see some signs. Yeah, town, dude. Let's go. Okay. How bad is the... Wait, what? Fortify fatigue, fortify attack, fortify health, drain attribute agility. Oh, okay. And agility what? I think agility plays a role in our dodging, yeah. So we're basically guaranteed to be hit by everything. But our health, fatigue, and attack all go up a lot. Hmm. 
a lot, a lot on the fatigue part, at least. Really? <laughs> okay. These things may be the most annoying things to have that happen with. <laughs> the being hit by everything. Because they're stupid temporary paralyzation that they do every time they hit you. That's not the world's worst trade-off, though. Can I only use that, like, once a day or something? So I see that, like, it's completely used up at the moment. Resin is a possibility, but they seem more stone-like. Berserk is once a day, okay. I mean, that makes sense, because it's probably, what, our racial ability or whatever? And you wouldn't expect those to be... Oh god, you're... You're angry with me. I didn't expect you to be angry with me. Oh god, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. <laughs> I, I didn't know. I didn't know that they were gonna get angry with me just by walking past them. I thought they were semi-friendly. Okay, well. <laughs> that happened. Back to killing these things. Did we already get the cap from him? I think we did, right? Peril, yeah, okay. Flying jellyfish are OP. <laughs> you don't have to tell me twice, my guy. Are you gonna come attack me again? Oh, well, if your pathfinding <laughs> works. <laughs> Get wrecked. Alright, Nick sounds. I think I think we're gonna be okay with these. Just to stay away from the damn flying jellyfish, man. <laughs> nope, shit. Nope. Uh pull it out. Ah, they resisted! Okay, this one's it. Nice, and you. Uh, hit, please. Oh, thank God. Okay. Y'all dead. I still want to go to that town, though. Just got to avoid the flying jellyfish on the way there. Maybe, like, coming from the north a little bit more would be a good idea. Y'all too hard to hit. We're basically going the same path right now, aren't we? Paralysis does seem really good, dude. Especially early on. Like, I can see it not being as important later whenever you're actually hitting things the majority of times that you're attacking. But at least, like, right now where it's so just hard to hit anything... Uh, paralyzing people is, is huge. Oh, we seem to be getting some network drop frames. I'm assuming probably on Twitch's side. It's usually on Twitch's side. <laughs> Hopefully it clears itself up, though. Completely soaked. That's fine. Wait, what is that? Uh, is that good or bad place? <laughs> I don't know. I think we'll go to town first, and then maybe just follow the coastline up around to here, because that is... Okay, it's not right on the coast, but like it seems like it'll be kind of hard to miss if we just go north from town. Okay, and what did we learn last time? Watch out for flying jellyfish. Um, where were they again? They were around here somewhere. These spore pods. I'll take it. 
spore pods or good pods? What's that, mud crab? I think we can take down a mud crab. What's that thing? Is that something they killed or is that a living thing too? I'm guessing that's something they killed maybe? We'll take the crab meat. Are you a... Yeah, Guar. Do not remove this corpse. So are you like someone's pet Guar? <laughs> Is there a quest to like come and find you or something? Okay, so there's the jellyfish. Can I swim across here without dying? I do not know, honestly. I think I have to try, though. <laughs> Please, no slaughterfish. Oh, there's slaughterfish, all right. Yep, they're coming for me. Oh, God, and I swim so slow. Okay, swim fast. Fast swim. I just hope I don't run out of stamina, because <laughs> I'm assuming if I run out of stamina and water, I'll just drown, basically. Fall to the bottom of the river, I guess? Is this technically part of the ocean? Probably part of the ocean. God, like, come on. <laughs> We're like, bro, this slaughterfish, though. He's he like, oh my god, how many? There's so many of them. Bro, just get me on land, please. I'll deal with the one mud crab. Or at least I'll try to deal with the one mud crab. Okay. <laughs> Holy crap. That was treacherous, dude. Slaughterfish are evil. <laughs> Alright. I think we're clear of the, the jellyfish. Collect the mushrooms. I just have a problem. I can't help but collect things when I see them. If I know they're collectible. Like these random mushrooms. I can't even do anything with them because my alchemy skill sucks. But I can't help but collect them either. So a manor of some sort. Do you guys have a shop by any chance or a tavern? Some random person shack? Hmm. Don't get lots of visitors here. Don't like visitors much or people who ask a lot of questions. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, so basically they're just saying, get the hell out of here, man. <laughs> we don't care about you, and we don't want you here. Uh, there's two breeding nets that have been attacking. Oh, okay, okay. So that's why they try to murder me instantly. Because they're also breeding. Where is that slave? What assistance do you need? Nothing here for us. You sounded like a ghoul, I'm not gonna lie. Like a fallout ghoul. You know where I am. Hmm. Sadly, I don't think there's much here for us. Warren chest. It's empty. Oh, you know what? That's why this place is on the map. That one time, I think it was on accident, that I traveled by boat somewhere. Or maybe I just did it for the hell of it. I don't remember. But I think this is where we traveled to. That would explain why it was uh, uncovered on the map. And we had the, the map marker. Uh, let me give you a little advice. We aren't used to visitors and we don't like what we aren't used to. Okay. What can you tell me about necromancy, man? It's illegal and utterly evil according to our custom and religion. Fair. My time is precious, so make it safe. Ooh. Can I rest here? So I can rest up. here. I can't tell if the game's messing up or if my mouse is messing up. Uh, what do you know about Shagorad? 
Shigarad Island and the countless nearby smaller islands and barren rocks are a desolate wilderness from the main island of Ardenfell into the Sea of Ghosts. Okay. What can you tell me about this random district? See to the Duke. Interesting, I guess. Sajanin. Beacon to mariners throughout the inner sea. Okay. Oh, bad people. Do you know anything about the bad people? You do, but you don't trust me enough to talk about it. That's fair, honestly. Uh, I would like to take a nap, <laughs> if you don't mind. <laughs> a nice, like, 20-hour rest around here. Oh, hello. I'm a busy guy, so if you could hurry this up. There's more people here. Uh, what do you know of the breathing niche? Kill them if you can. I mean, I'll try, but I'm pretty sure they're going to kill me. But screw it, man. We'll try. Let me eat food first before I save. Uh, cooked food preferably. And some roots. And get a drink or two. Damn it. I should clear all that up. And we save. Please and thank you. Where does this door go? Outside? Outside, okay. And it finally stopped raining. Let's go. Okay, they should just be, yeah, right there. So like I said, we'll we'll try. <laughs> I'm, I'm fairly certain we're about to die, but we'll try and deal with them if we can. This little bridge here would have been nice to know of before, but oh well. Get rid of the mud crab first. Evil mud crabs. Hey, light armor skill increased. Nice. I will take that. Okay, I don't see this working without paralyzation, so. Gonna get as close as we can to aggro, hopefully just one of them. Wait. Is it... Does that include the big one? Because the little one was scary enough. But I don't... Oh, dude, yeah, it totally does, doesn't it? I don't think I can take on the big one, dude. Let's go! Okay. Killed one of them. Got some netch leather. You're the only one around here, so it must include you. Oh, you're scary. You're big. <laughs> you're a lot bigger than that one. Again, I feel like paralysis is our only real hope. Okay. Are you going to come at me? It would be really nice if you would, like, come over dry land here. Do I have to, like, aggro you first, or...? You are the other breeding one, right? You're the only other one around here. Oh, we don't have the arrows equipped. Okay, uh... Target resisted magic. Okay, um... Shit, I don't have my weapon out. Can I even reach you from here? I'm going to die. Yep, nope, that's... <laughs> You're over-encumbered, I'm injured. Okay. Well, <laughs> we tried. That's about how I thought it was going to go, though, to be honest with you. Oh, we're getting the frame rate issues again like we were earlier, out of nowhere. Okay. Leaving seemed to have fixed it. Uh, I mean, we might as well kill the one, the small one. And then just leave the other one to be some other time's problem. Wait, where am I going? I got lost. <laughs> I think I just need a loop around. 
Where were they? Hold on. Yeah, should be... There we go, on this side, okay. Yeah, we went exactly the wrong direction, man. I'll take that again. Blood crab. Get wrecked. One hit. One swing, I guess. Walk now, nice and slow, over to this guy. Or girl. I don't know which one's the big one and which one's the small one. Or are they just like genderless amorphous blobs? <laughs> I have no clue. Uh... Okay, the little one looks a lot closer to the big one now. Do you want to, like, maybe come over here? The big one didn't aggro before, though, until I attacked it. So maybe... So maybe it'll be fine. Bastard. Okay, he's dead. I want to kill it, man, but I... Just, I... I don't see how it's possible. So northward we go. We'll take pride in the one kill that we successfully got. And we lost two points of strength. Damn it. The best of my knowledge, there's no way to cure that either, other than just time. I wonder, honestly... Maybe the healing potions, like... Cheaper store health. Okay, yeah, cool. So just restoring health in general gets rid of that. That's nice. Our athletics increased. I'm assuming just from running? Do you just get experience from running as well? I need a town with a shop soon. Because our inventory is probably getting pretty... Eh, we still got like 70 pounds. 60, 66 pounds. It's not too bad. What was that fortress looking thing over here though? Bastard. We make it up the hill. Mm, no. <laughs> no, we cannot. Okay. We're going the long way around. I think so. I heard somebody. I don't see them, though. Something angry is around here somewhere. Oh, there they are. It's a rat. Hello. Oh, that's not a rat. That's a freaking mud crab. My god, dude. I may be an idiot. There we go. Mud crab city. I'm all for it, dude. I'm gonna max out our level just by fighting mud crabs. That's the plan. It's just a rock. I thought it was like a door in the side of the hill. Started contemplating whether we should explore it or just ignore it. <laughs> Normally when we explore random doors and hills, we die. This looks like we can make it up it, right? Maybe? Maybe? Let's go! Oh, it's one of you. You guys are bastards. Uh, paralyze again? Come on, dude. Just hit him. 
is nice and close now. Let's go. What'd you break? Chest. Always breaking my chest, dude. So sadly, this didn't really let us over the hill. <laughs> it just... Oh, there's a ship. Does the ship have treasure? It probably just has a shit ton of slaughter fish, honestly, but... I'd be remiss to not give it a shot. It's got a barrel. I don't see any people. That's what I'm most worried about. Oh my god, dude. Slaughterfish sucks so much ass. Is it like, are smaller things just harder to hit? Oh god, okay. Dispose, dispose. We're not in combat. I think I'm out of... Yeah. Cheap health potions. I don't want to use a good one. I think we're just gonna... Try... Did not die. <laughs> Oh god, there's another slaughterfish. Is there? That's definitely combat music. The combat music ended once we went on land. I'm thinking it's another slaughterfish somewhere. Can we maybe just like get up on the rock or something? No. Okay. Swim quick. Oh, I see ya. <laughs> I see ya. <laughs> Wait, is it? It's completely empty? I guess someone must have looted it already. Oh no, there's a small chest. Uh, what is it, tower key? Black lichen, comberry, quamacuddle, pearl. Those are worth some stuff. And red lichen? 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 I don't know. I will take all of that though. Loot is loot, I'm not gonna complain. I'll complain about you though. suppose it's possible for me to no can I just bait you up here and try to kill you mm -hmm. um do we berserk let's heal using the engraved ring of healing that's a good idea you feel wet yeah well <laughs> This ring of healing sucks. <laughs> like, it hardly heals anything. Okay, it's out of charges. Medusa's gaze. We have one use left. There's two of them now. Three? Was that another one? Okay, no. I take it back. We're not here to fight. We're just gonna run. Perfect. If I can get just like one of them to come over, I wouldn't mind just killing one or two of them. Wait, what are you? You look like a humanoid of some sort almost. Axe skill increased to 44. Let's go. Where was that humanoid looking one though? I'm scared of you, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, well you guys don't seem too hard to take down. Oh, but you hurt. 
When you hit, though. Oh, God, you really hurt when you hit, though. Good thing you're on a Skyrim binge already. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to do anything else until I played an Elder Scrolls game. I know the feel, man. Okay, well, if you're not going to run away, this looks like a really good time to practice our archery skills. I don't know what that word is, but... Okay, they ran away. We still have combat music, though, so technically we're still in combat, yeah? No, okay, we're not. Cool. Uh, in that case... Pull out our battle axe, and I guess just get the hell out of here, man, because those things be scary. Uh... Is this a good camping spot on top of this mountain? <laughs> what time is it? It's 1 p.m. It feels a little early to go camping. But I also don't want to use all of my healing items already. I was really worried I was going to take fall damage from that, dude. I'm going to throw down a quick save. We won't reload from it if we die, but we will reload from it if we crash. <laughs> we haven't had many crashes, or we might not have had any even since we switched to open Morrowind, but... Come on, lose interest, mud crab. And we can probably take on the mud crab, right? Oh, can you come across the water? I mean, I guess it makes sense that you'd be able to, huh? Oh, yeah, okay, you're fine. Dispose of corpse. Are we safe? We're safe. As much as I don't want to, gonna use a full restore health potion. I don't want to die and reload while exploring this island that I'm really hoping are just mud crabs. Mud crabs and, and loot. Is that a town up there? I really hope it is. We need a town to sell crap to. Why combat music? Again, why combat me? Oh, right there. Hello. Get wrecked. Wooden chest! Let's go! Firebite sword. It's a short blade, which we're not bad with. Fire damage 3 to 5 points for 1 second on touch. How's that compare? 1 to 30 damage, though. It sucks that it's like 1 to 30. So that means we could ro roll like really freaking... Excuse me, really freaking low. But if nothing else, it has a value, right? Oh, only 17? Really? I'd be more than that. I'll still take it. But an enchanted sword I thought would be pretty decent. Random bottle. Anything else out here? Just a crap sword and a bottle. Okay, well. <laughs> I mean, it's still loot, I suppose. No point in complaining too much. A uh, bunch of food and ingredients. Just a bunch of food. This just another empty bottle. It's a jug, but... Now I wonder, okay. Because we have... The water catcher. You fill your container with water. So is that like normal drinking water? Why does it always do that? Okay, so it's empty now. Now if I use the water catcher... Okay, cool, yeah. So it just refills it. So that's not too bad. 
I was worried, like, because with the, the other survival mod, the one that works on base Morrowind, not open Morrowind, there's, like, dirty water that you have to boil and stuff, too. So I was worried it was going to be something along those lines, but that doesn't appear to really care. Oh, God. Do you see me? You see me. Target resisted magic. Of course he did. Item does not have enough charge. Let me at least get on land, you dick. He survived. <laughs> one more hit. Please. Please, one more hit. Game. Don't do this game. Corrosive, for real? Just get one hit on him. Oh my god, thank you. Okay, that's just a mud crab. Mud crab should be fine. I think we I think we can take on the mud crab. I'm just trying to get to what I think might be a town up there. Oh, are we sucking so bad? Thank you. <coughs> uh, I definitely see some slaughter fish. I think. No. I was going to say, at this point, I think maybe we should just berserk and run. Because it restores our fatigue. But we'll also take, like, every hit in the world. We are hungry. That's not helping anything. Let's go ahead and eat a tiny bit. Uh, just some greens. That should get rid of our hunger. You just gotta make a mad dash, man. <laughs> Try not to get murdered by the slaughter fish. Exposure increasing slowly? What? Am I just, like, too close to the water or something? I feel wet. You feel wet. Your fish got stuck? My god, dude. You got it out, though, right? Like, it's fine now? Nope. Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Oh, God. There's so many of them. Okay, there's ground. That Silt Strider's gonna come over here, though. Or whatever the hell it's called. Not Silt Strider. Racer. Okay, we're safe. Oh! I really don't want to, like, use another potion. <laughs> I think we have to, though. I'm only at half health, and I have no charges left on... Oh, wait, charge 15. I think that's enough for one go at it. Uh... Oh, the Ring of Healing's back to being good, too. Okay, we'll do that. Ring of Healing... Heal me up. The one to five points that you heal. You have an abandoned house decoration with a tree trunk on top and you got stuck in the trunk part? Oh my god, dude. You obviously didn't take one while you were stuck. That's fair. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's reasonable. <laughs> We got one go at this. Can we jump up the hill, maybe? No, we cannot. Um, maybe if we weren't crouched. Nope. Still no go. Uh, we have a potion of, like, Restore fatigue, right? Restore fatigue, yeah. That's quality. Do we have a crappy one? We have standard. That'll do the job. And now just go as quick as we can. As quick as we can. Just gotta avoid that silch... Or racer plume thing. Okay. Can we go up the hill now? Nope. No, we can't. Okay, well, back to swimming then. Why am I swinging so... Or swimming so slowly? Bro. Bro, we're dead. We're dead. I'm over-encumbered. 
I <laughs> I love hate this game. I I freaking hate it, dude. Okay. So <laughs> the ship wasn't worth it. We're going to have to remember that for next time we play because it's pretty much time to end for the night anyways. So I think, you know, that's probably as good of a place as, anyway, as any to call it. Um, but we need to remember next time the ship wasn't worth it. Probably just get on the road. And then once we get on the road, head north is going to be the goal for next time. Unless I figure out something else we can do. Some way that we can uh, maybe get some levels or something without just breaking ourselves. Um we don't have that much money either we only have like 500 gold I uh, uh, <laughs> my god anyways guys I'm gonna check out your picture as soon as we get off here which is gonna be now <laughs> I don't know man I'm tired I'm sick have a good night everyone thank you for coming and hanging out with me for a little bit while we attempted to make some progress in Morrowind didn't really make any but we tried uh when's your next Morrowind stream Right now, I'm doing it for sure every other week. Not that often, sadly. I wish it was more often, um, but I just haven't had the time to stream Morrowind more often right now. Um, so every other Friday is when I, I definitely stream it, unless I'm like really sick or something like that. And then sometimes on Tuesdays, but uh, Tuesdays are meant to be a, a day off. So maybe, maybe not on Tuesdays. Um, I've been considering trying to stream an extra day a week again, but I just I just don't know if I can fit it in with like my full time work schedule and everything like that, sadly. So for now, every other week, uh yeah. <laughs> I know it's not that often, but yeah. Anyways though, thank you again guys. I appreciate you all coming and hanging out with me. And uh until next time, have a good night and as always be kind to each other, y'all. <laughs> bye bye. I'm dying. <laughs> Terrible.